Hey there and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Two clubs contact Man United star over potential transfer. Formal approach could come soon. Manchester United midfielder Bruno Fernandes is reportedly a transfer target for Barcelona and Bayern Munich, with formal approaches possibly set to come soon. The Portugal international has been an important player for Man United, and it seems he could now be in line for some tempting offers to leave after what has been a hugely challenging and frustrating spell at Old Trafford. According to Ebola, both Barca and Bayern have been in contact over signing Fernandez, and they could soon try more formal approaches for the 29-year-old. United fans will no doubt hope this doesn't go anywhere meaningful, with Fernandez surely too important for the club to lose if they are to have any hope of rebuilding and reviving their fortunes under their new owners. Fernandez may well feel he has to leave Man United to win major trophies, but the Red Devils surely have to do everything they can to prevent him taking up the option to move to somewhere like Barca or Bayern. Those clubs will be able to offer Fernandez the chance to play in the Champions League next season, but United need to be able to convince him that he can enjoy success where he is. Eric Ten Hag's future as manager may be in some doubt at the moment, but he did manage to win the FA Cup last month, as well as the Carabao Cup the season before, so perhaps there is some hope that this project can move in a more positive direction soon. Fernandez will need better players around him, though, so it may be a busy summer for United in the transfer market, trying to show the former sporting Lisbon man how serious they are. Eric Ten Hag outlines Man United transfer plans ahead of a busy summer. Ten Hag discussed Man United transfer plans ahead of what could be a busy summer transfer window for the FA Cup winners. He said, via the mirror, We need to get a striker to work alongside Rasmus Hoyland. I also hope we manage to get another central midfielder and also a replacement for Varane. Then, I think things will look very good for next season, with the caveat that the players are fit and stay fit. Then you can start applying towards the top four with such an 11 that gives me hope and is also realistic in my eyes. The Red Devils need quality and depth in their squad and they would hope to avoid the injury crisis they suffered last season. Missing key players at crucial moments of the season cost Ten Hag a lot of points and the club is determined to address that issue. The Dutch manager is making plans for the future. However, his job at the club is still not safe. A decision will soon be taken on the future of the Man United manager after a detailed review of his performance since arriving from Ajax. In order to challenge for trophies again, the Red Devils need an injection of new players to the squad and a striker, midfielder and a defender as their priority. Jose Mourinho claims Eric Ten Hag failed to get the best out of Man United forward Jadon Sancho. Former Man United manager Jose Mourinho believes Eric Ten Hag failed to bring the best out of Jadon Sancho. The Red Devils paid £73 million to sign Sancho from Borussia Dortmund in 2021. The England international failed to shine at Old Trafford and was sent back on loan to Dortmund following his public spat with Ten Hag. Speaking ahead of the Champions League final, Mourinho fired shots at the Dutchman. He said, As a player, we know his talent. We saw what he can do. There are no doubts about it. What happened at Man United, if I look at my own history, sometimes I failed with the players, sometimes I couldn't create the right empathy, I couldn't understand the players' DNA, and I couldn't help players grow up in the right direction. The majority of times, yes, I did it, but on some occasions, I couldn't. I think sometimes we have to learn with experience, which I tried always to do, to try to understand the nature of the player. Sometimes they have the talent, but don't have the mindset you want from a player. 
for sure the kid made mistakes that's for sure but for sure his manager was not able to get the best out of him normally it's multifactorial normally it's not the manager the player the family the agent the club Top Chelsea transfer target expected to choose Blues over Manchester United. Sources are stating that Crystal Palace winger Michael Ollis is likely to choose a transfer to Chelsea over Manchester United, according to Simon Phillips via Substack. The exciting young Frenchman has shown in the Premier League and it makes sense that he is now being talked about as a target for top clubs this summer. Both Man United and Chelsea need to sign attacking players for next season and it seems there is confidence that if it's between those two clubs, he will choose a move to Stamford Bridge over Old Trafford. Discussing the latest Chelsea transfer news and the players like Oles and others, Phillips said the following, I'm hearing more and more winger noise from sources and the two names I'm hearing the most are Michael Oles and Somerville of Leeds United. Oles is a long-term club target now, with Shields driving the move. A second source has now added more confidence that Oles will pick Chelsea over Manchester United, following on from my top source saying that last week, we will have to see how that one unfolds in the next days or weeks. Man United can sign Amado Onana for £43 million, perfect replacement for Casimiro. Manchester United have the opportunity to sign Everton midfielder Amado Onana for £43 million during the upcoming transfer window. The Red Devils are likely to make multiple changes to the squad this summer and a new defensive midfielder could be one of the top priorities. Casimiro had a disappointing second season with United. He was injured for part of the campaign and struggled for consistency during the run-in. The Brazilian ace was initially dropped from the starting lineup for the FA Cup final last month before he was ruled out with an injury in the warm-up. In our opinion, the hierarchy could replace him this summer. In our opinion, Onana would be an ideal replacement for the former Real Madrid man. The Red Devils have the chance to sign him for £43 million according to Sport, with the Toffees needing to balance their books after their failed takeover. The 22-year-old, who was described as really exciting by manager Roberto Martinez, has been a key player for the Toffees since his arrival from Lille in the summer of 2022. He had a good 23-24 season with the Merseyside outfit where he won 6 duels per outing. With his dominating presence, he won an impressive 74% of his aerial duels. The Belgian also registered 2.4 successful tackles and 5.3 recoveries per game while losing possession just 6.8 times. He was dribbled past on less than one occasion, 0.7 per appearance. In comparison, Casimiro was guilty of losing possession on 12 occasions per outing. He was dribbled past by opponent on 2.2 occasions and was often cut out of possession. Onana would be an upgrade on Casimiro who appears past his game at £43 million. He would be a bargain signing, though United need to be proactive to avoid missing out on him. Barcelona and Arsenal are hot on the trail of the Belgian, who can play anywhere in midfield. Onana also offers a set-piece threat with his height. He would be a perfect signing. Man United have concrete interest in signing Benjamin Sesko. Manchester United have concrete interest in signing RB Leipzig striker Benjamin Sesko this summer, according to Sky Sport Germany journalist Florian Plattenberg. The Red Devils are likely to sign a new center forward with Anthony Martial set to depart the club when his contract expires at the end of the month. Rasmus Hoyland had a relatively good debut season despite injuries, but the hierarchy may want another quality marksman to provide competition off the bench.
Sasko has been linked with United for some time and Plattenberg claims that the interest is concrete and the club have already inquired over his availability. The 20-year-old currently has a release clause worth 65 million euros, which expires on June 30. Leipzig are still hopeful of keeping him with a new contract. All parties involved want a decision made before the start of Euro 2024. United had their sights on bringing a new striker in January. Stuttgart's Serhog Verassi was very close to joining them, but the club's tight financial situation scuppered the deal. The club should have found to spend in the next transfer window, but the focus for now could be on recouping funds from player sales before the financial year ends on June 30. With this in mind, we don't believe United will make an effort to land Sesco this month. The club will have a lower budget without Champions League football and could spend more cautiously. A new centre-back should be the top priority with Rafael Varane's expected exit. A defensive midfielder may also need to be prioritised with Casimiro's huge decline over the past 12 months. If United were to sign a striker, they could prefer an experienced ace to act as Hoyland's deputy. The Red Devils would not want to hamper the development of Hoyland with limited minutes. Sesco, on the other hand, may not be tempted to join without an assured starting role. Hence, the speculation could be agent-driven in our opinion. His representatives is probably looking to speed up a transfer from Leipzig with Arsenal and Chelsea also in the race. Arsenal, Liverpool and Man United keen on 10 goal Premier League star valued at £60 million. Aston Villa midfielder Douglas Louise has been linked with a move away from the West Midlands club. Clubs like Arsenal, Liverpool and Manchester United are keen on signing the 26-year-old Brazilian midfielder who has had an impressive campaign with Aston Villa this season. The midfielder picked up 10 goals and 10 assists in all competitions and the top clubs are keen on securing his services. According to CalcioMercato.it, bidding for the midfielder could start from £60 million and it will be interesting to see where he ends up. Arsenal have been long-term admirers of the Aston Villa midfielder and he could prove to be the ideal partner for Declan Rice in the middle of the park. The Brazilian would improve them immensely and he could prove to be a major upgrade on Thomas Party. As far as Liverpool are concerned, they failed to sign one of their top targets, Moses Caicedo, last summer, and they are still searching for a quality holding midfielder. The Aston Villa star would be the ideal fit for the Reds. At Manchester United, they will need to start planning for the future, and Casimiro has been quite underwhelming this season. The Brazilian will have to be replaced and Luis could be the ideal acquisition. The 26-year-old will want to compete at the highest level, and joining big clubs like Arsenal, Liverpool or Manchester United will be quite attractive for him. It would be a huge step up for him. However, he has a contract with the West Midlands club until 2026, and Aston Villa are under no pressure to cash in on him just yet. They will not want to lose a key player like him anytime soon. It will be interesting to see how the situation unfolds. I will be uploading daily Mon United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.